Well, folks, it is a sad time in Texas. Texas has been devastated by these uh, winter storms, and it's not over with yet. There's millions without electricity. There's millions without water. The, the grocery stores are empty. Uh, delivery trucks can't make deliveries. And the worst of it all, in my opinion, is we're having a massive fish kill. It has been below freezing every night since all this started. 17 degrees one night, 20 degrees, the high for the next day, back down in the teens the next night, 20 degrees last night and the night before, and tonight we're looking at another freeze, and this is Friday. There are dead fish lying in the shorelines all up and down where I'm at. I'm sure it's probably worse, even worse up north. We're here in, at Corpus Christi. Uh, big trout, redfish, snook, tarpon, and every kind of bait fish you can imagine. And what is really bad <coughs> and what a lot of people don't realize is that for every one of those you see on the bank there are hundreds out there on the bottom bed that haven't floated up. <sighs> Me being an old guy this will be the third one of these I've lived through. One in the 80s, one in the 90s, and now this one. And uh, I can tell you from experience that when this is over, fishing is going to be bad. Uh, it normally takes about two years for a recovery and it's not a, it's not a full recovery. Uh, but it, it usually takes two years for it to get somewhat back to something resembling normal. The, uh, it just uh, it's, it's heartbreaking uh, to see all these beautiful fish dead. The uh, the guys up north, uh, Galveston, Port O'Connor, areas up like that. Uh, if you see this video. Uh, Comment and let me know what you're seeing up that way. And people south of me, which would be uh, Port Mansfield, Port Isabel, uh, let me know what you're seeing down there if, uh, if any of you guys are watching this video. The, uh, man, it's tough. It's really tough. You hate, hate, hate to see it. You know, Mother Nature can be a beautiful thing, and it can also be devastatingly cruel. And uh, this is this is one of those things. You can't have the kind of weather we've had uh, for an extended period that we've had. Uh, saltwater fish just can't take it. What the future holds, we won't know for a while. 
uh, and for the future of this channel, which is a is strictly a fishing channel, uh, that's that's yet to be seen. We'll just have to see how it, how it pans out. But uh, if if it's like what I've experienced in the past, it's going to be a rough rough go of it after this uh, after this weather finally passes. The uh, Uh, I'm grateful to you guys that have been with me all this time. Had some of the, the best subscribers ever. Uh, very few haters have showed up. The uh, uh, I've, I've just tried to do content that was just straight up fishing with no nonsense. And... Uh, a lot of y'all appreciate that kind of content so but anyway it's uh, it's really bad and it's gonna freeze again tonight and there's gonna be more fish to die so like I said we'll just have to see what happens from here on out but I kind of wanted to give you all a little heads up on uh, on the situation I mean everybody locals and everybody knows what's going on but there's a there's a lot of you subscribers that are not local and uh, it's going to be ugly but anyway uh that's about all i got to say about it right now and uh, thank you all for watching and uh, we'll just have to see what happens